Good Tuesday morning and welcome back to Fox News Rising. We are out here on the Blue Max Terrace and I'm joined by Chef Troy who is making one of my favorite kind of foods, Italian classics, right? right? And the key is keeping this real and simple. Real simple. Real yeah. food, keeping it simple. simple. And we got lots of fire going on. We got the wood burning oven going. We got the big green egg behind you that we're going to use that Oasis Pools brought okay. up. Okay. Um, but we're going to do it just, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to have a few different components. Now we're going to sure. do a, a grilled meatball sub. We're going to do those yeah. on skewers. Actually, not even going to be, really be a meatball. We're going to be using a meatball mixture. We're going to cook them on the egg okay. with a skewer. We're going to put them on some nice, really soft bread with a really quick tomato sauce and some uh, melted fresh mozzarella. I'm excited. Then we're also going to do a grilled eggplant parmesan. We're going to do that on the, okay. the egg as well. And you don't necessarily have to use eggplant. We'll we'll get into that in a little okay. bit. Um, but we're going to put some garlic and bacon cr uh, breadcrumbs on top of that. So that's where actually where we're going to start. I've already grilled some some bread. Okay. And then I threw it in the oven just to toast it off. Now the the thing when you're doing croutons. Or breadcrumbs or something. It's almost kind of like a steak. You know, when you when you toast bread, it's still kind of soft in the middle. When you do breadcrumbs sure. or something, it should be firm almost all the way through. Okay. So what I'm gonna have you do while I carry on is I'm gonna have you start rubbing that with some garlic because okay. these are gonna be really garlic. I mean, and put it on there pretty good because what we're gonna do is cut these up, put them in the food processor, grind them up with some bacon, and that's what's gonna top our eggplant, which is gonna yummy. be super yummy. Both sides or just one side? Both sides. Gonna have right. lots of garlic on. That's why I brought two cloves for that. All right. Now in here I've got some oil that I've already cooked some garlic. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but these are like little garlic chips. You okay. can do this two ways. You can put the garlic in there, and as soon as you start to smell it, you can dump the tomato sauce in there. But what I did was, is I put it on really, really low. We crisped up the garlic chips, got all the flavor from the oils of the garlic into the oil okay. itself, and now we're just going to add. Now this is my really quick, simple red sauce, and we're just going to add just some canned crushed tomatoes, all natural. You know, it only has like tomato salt and citric so you acid. Didn't, yeah, you didn't get the flavored kind. You just got the regular. Yeah, I like to do that because I can control it. If I want to put, uh, you Pick know, some oregano own. in it or, you know, whatever, whatever I'm in the mood for, which I'm actually going to use some basil, which I got at the Fresh Market. You know, it's pretty cool. You can get these live basil plants. You okay. put them on your windowsill. You kind of water them from underneath, and you always have fresh basil. Yeah, me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I always start with a little bit, and then as it cooks, you can always add, you know, just a little bit more because salt's going to intensify as you go. What's, like, the key time frame that you should let sauce sort of let the, the mix the, the flavors blend. Right. You know what well, I mean? Now if I'm doing, you know, like my, my big sauce is what I call it, the one, it's gonna sit there all day and it's gonna have some meat in it that's gonna flavor it, you know, three or four hours. This is gonna go about an hour. Okay. A couple things we're so gonna give do. Yourself a little bit of time. I'm gonna uh, cut some eggplant up into rounds. We're gonna brush those with olive oil. We're gonna grill those in just a second. But okay. we gotta get our meatball started. We've got a pound of pork, a pound of ground beef. We uh, we're we got out of time. we got so. egg, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some onions, some garlic, some parsley, salt, pepper, and crushed red pepper. I'm gonna get those mixed up. Now I'm gonna show you. We're not gonna make those into balls. We're gonna put them on skewers, and I'll show you how to do that when we come back. Sounds good. We will check back in with Chef Troy here in just a little bit. But right now, let's send it over to meteorologist Tara Blake to get our forecast on the fours, and it's looking a little. One is the time now. Let's check in with Chef Troy. Here was out on the black Blue Max Terrace, and he's cooking up some real simple Italian classics. Yeah, and would you normally you wouldn't think of cooking that kind of stuff outside, Troy? Oh uh, yeah, normally you wouldn't think about eggplant and meatball subs on the grill, but that's exactly what we're doing. And we're gonna start with our eggplant right now. What I've done is I've cut them down. I put, I took the skin off. I don't particularly like the skin, but if you want to leave that on, you can do that. It's not a big deal. To me, it just kind of gets a little tough. Now these suckers are just like little sponges, so you got to be careful when you brush them with oil. And the reason why I like grilling them as opposed to frying them is. Uh, you know, you could bake these as well, but the reason why I like doing that is just because it, they don't get as greasy. Like if you got a big pot of grease and you can drop them in there and they get nice and crispy, there's really nothing wrong with that. That's just not particularly what I like. So now you can see some of these bigger pieces have the bigger seeds in them. Those are the ones that I like the most. Those bigger pieces are actually what's going to end up being our, the base to it because we're going to kind of stack these up in a couple levels. Now we got the big green egg up here that Oasis Grill, Oasis Pools Plus brought up for us today. And we're going to, we got this nice and hot. It's about 500 degrees. We've got the nice hardwood lump charcoal on the bottom of it. And we're just going to put these on here. Now I've cut these about an inch thick. And we just want to grill them until they're soft and nice and kind of charred a little bit. We're going to grill these in batches because we also have to put our meatball skewers on there, which is what I have right here. We put those on the skewers. We kind of just made a regular meatball mixture, just like you would meatballs. The recipe's on foxshark.com, so don't freak out if you didn't see what that would send that. But we got parsley, we got onions, we got garlic. It's a combination of beef, beef and pork. Threw an egg in there, some breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs are going to keep it from being so dense. Now we're going to sear these on the grill, but then we're going to put them in our, our uh, tomato sauce that we got going. That's our quick tomato sauce we got going. And I'm going to put all these on here. I don't care what it takes. I'm going to get them all on here. Here, look at that. I'm getting all fancy now. 
All right, so what we're going to do, now when you cook the green egg, you always cook with the lid closed. That keeps all that moisture and flavor and everything in there. It kind of gets all the smoke going around. Now for our eggplant as well, we're going to make some breadcrumbs. In the first segment, we grilled them, we toasted them. Now I just kind of pulsed them in a, in, a, in a food processor. You can chop them by hand, but we rub those with garlic. So these are going to be garlic and bacon breadcrumbs, and this is what's going to go in our layers of eggplant parmesan. So we're going to mix this up. Now what we got to do now is we got to add just a little bit of oil. It's going to kind of help hold it all together. We're going to season it with my spice mix. So these garlic and bacon breadcrumbs that are going to go on the eggplant parmesan. We've got our sauce going. We've got our cheese. Everything's going ready to go. So uh, back to you guys, Derek and Christine in the studio. Wait till you come out and smell this. Hey, we are cooking up some Italian American goodies with Chef Troy this morning. And anytime you talk about Italian American, the first thing that comes to most people's minds meatballs. That's, That's one right. of the things you're cooking up there in the pot. Right. Now, I noticed that your meatballs <laughs> look a little elongated. Well, what's they're, what's they're up with that? Not really balls at all. We actually, what we did was, is we made just like you would regular meatballs with the okay. same mixture with the egg and the, you know, we used pork and beef and parsley and oregano and garlic and all that good stuff. But I forwarded them into logs and we grilled them right on the big green egg, okay. which Oasis brought up for us today, which is going to give it tons of flavor in itself. And you're going to add it to the sauce. But the reason why I didn't make them into balls, because I just feel like sometimes when you're eating a meatball sub, you're kind of chasing, you know, the, chasing the, the meatball, chasing, chasing yeah. the meatball yeah. through the sandwich. You might get a little bite, and it kind of pushes it into the bread. So you know, one key is is use a really soft bread so you can grab, a, you know, grab around it. Okay. But the other thing is is make them a little more elongated so you can actually get a grip on it. The I like science a grip on of my cooking. Food. That explains right. it because I was wondering, I was like, no, okay, that's just there's a fat maybe guy knowing how to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go for that. All right, now this is our grilled eggplant. Uh -huh. Basically, we just took eggplant, we peeled it. Oil, season, threw it right in the big green egg, and I'm telling you, I don't know if you've ever, you, you had some stuff with the big green egg last time we were here, but mm -hmm. man, it just gives it so much flavor. You cook everything with the lid down, and that smoke just permeates through everything. Not too much to where it's going to taste, you know, too smoky, but just right. gives it that really good grilled flavor. Why did you put the, uh, some of that red sauce on the bottom before you put the uh, eggplant Just to plant keep down. it from sticking. Okay. Because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this iron skillet, and we're going to put it right here in the wood-burning oven, and that's going to give it even more flavor. Now, when cooking eggplant, uh, as it's my understanding, typically when you're making it, you want to wait till it's soft. That's how you know it's ready. When you're doing this, do you want to make sure it's soft or you want to kind of take it out before it gets too soft? Uh, I usually take it out when it's cooked all the way through, which is soft. Okay. Lightly oil it because, you know, it'll take as much oil as you put in it. Okay. Because all it's right. like a sponge. And that's one reason why I like grilling it better than I do frying it. And, and you know, it. It's not as greasy, you know how sometimes you can get a you know eggplant at a restaurant and it's, you can just tell they dropped it in a fryer and it's just real greasy and, right. and soggy. I'm not a big fan of that. I'd rather have it soft, cooked through, but not greasy. Because sometimes it even gets a little mushy though. If you can, can you overcook it, I guess, and get it a little too mushy. You know, it's going to be mushy anyway if you cook it all the way through, but not mushy to the point to where it's just you know going to melt in your mouth kind of thing, like where it's okay. just got a kind of weird texture. But it, it will be soft just because of because if you don't cook it all the way through, then it's going to be kind of rubbery, um, okay. kind of spongy. All right. Now what I just put on there was this is our garlic and bacon breadcrumbs that we made with just grilled garlic toast, mm. some bacon that we pulsed, and uh, Christine rubbed the the. The bread, the garlic bread with, with a whole bunch of garlic. Right. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Boy. All right, now this is oregano. We had our little herb quiz out here with everybody out here, and everybody got their herbs right. This is oregano. This is the oregano that I bought at the Fresh Market. I showed in the studio like three or four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Just in the garden, and it's just going crazy right now. So I figured we'd use that. And you just pretty much minced that up? Yeah, I just chopped it up, just pulled the leaves off, washed it, obviously, because you don't know when a little neighbor dog's going to give you a visit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so what we're going to do now is now we're just going to go on to another layer. Let me just put, I'm going to put another little dab of sauce right here because I just like the way it looks, Terrence. Mm, All mm, right, mm. so let's just do this. Make little sandwiches out of this. Now, what I do is I kind of separate them into bigger pieces. So as you you're stack them up, you can go just two levels, which the recipe on foxart.com is going to just have two levels. Okay. But I want this to just to look big and mighty, you know, so I'm going to do three levels. So what you do is you separate them into big, medium, and small. So as you go bigger, it kind of tears up. Ah, not like tier, a little pyramid. Yeah, not tears up like, you know, you like know, start like to cry. cry, but, you know, like a... Might be so good, though, you might want to cry. Yeah, this is going to be so good, you're going to smack somebody. <laughs> somebody you like. As long as they don't put a salt charge on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we put some salt on it, too. Okay. Ah, <laughs> All right, so that's I'm, a Chef Troy joke. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of this, but we're going to put Parmesan breadcrumb. The top layer is going to get uh, some extra sauce on it, some extra cheese, and then we're going to put that in the oven. Now, before we go... Mm -hmm. We're going to open our big green egg, and we're going to take this bread. This is for the meatball subs. I got it oiled. We're just going to put it in here just to lightly toast it, just to kind of give it a little crunchy on the outside, stay soft on the inside. I'm so excited because we're getting ready to eat in just a little bit. All right, looking forward to that. Max Terrace out here with Chef Troy. You are putting the 15 inches on some of my favorite type of food, Italian-American food. 
Real simple, real easy, good stuff. All the recipes are on foxshark.com. Click on the rise tab. I'm telling you this. Anybody can do this. Super simple. You know, we made our meat yep. logs, I guess is what we're calling now, instead <laughs> meat of meatballs. <logs. laughs> meat logs. And uh, actually, you know what? I, I think I want to start with. Let's start with the meatballs, okay, okay. or the meat logs, the meat logs. as we okay, should say. Okay, Now, I grilled some um, just regular, like, hoagie rolls or whatever. I got okay. some sauce in my hand. I'm going to wipe that off because that's bothering me. Uh, we grilled that right on the, the green egg there. Okay. Now, this is super simple. Now, the meatballs, same meatball mixture probably a lot of people use. Ground beef, ground pork, onions, garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You know, I put some oregano and stuff in mine. Okay. Know what we're gonna do? And you could have made those as meatballs if you wanted to. Yeah, but you know what? I was explaining to Terrence. You know, I don't like chasing the ball down through the sandwich. You know, because sometimes you can get. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Take you one can, bite and there it goes. You get, and it kind of squirts you know, down through the end of it. You know, and then and there's nothing you can do about it. Then you just. Chase I don't have it. like having to work for food. <laughs> exactly. So we made them into meat logs. Okay. So you can hug it. Like, I mean, hold it for a minute. There's a whole there you science go. behind this. this. I mean, well, when, like I told him, to, but you know, when you're fat like me, you figure out all kinds of ways to just not oh, rearing your food. <laughs> all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this foil paper. Now, as my grandmother would say, now you're just showing out. Now, I'm going to put some of those garlic and uh, bacon breadcrumbs okay. on the top. We're going to drizzle with just a little Gotta bit. Got to have of, bacon. Oh, yeah. A little bit extra. Well, I figured there's pork already in it. Yeah. So we're going to, now what we would do is we would just put that under the broiler or into the big green egg like we did. Okay. Now the way this thing works is you can either use direct heat or indirect heat. Look at those. So I put the, the plate setter in there so it would use kind of an indirect heat so it would kind of melt, start melting the cheese around. Okay. And that's the reason why we use the fall paper so it'll stand up nice and pretty. So we'll do that. Now I'm going to tell you what, if, if, you, if you don't think that looks good, there just might be <laughs> something wrong with you. <laughs> just change the channel. There might be something wrong with you. Wow, this looks awesome. All right, so I'm going to get the eggplant out. If you grab that little small plate for me, that sure. little white plate over there. I know we got to wrap this up pretty quick. I'm going to take some red sauce. We're going to put it on the bottom of the plate. Okay. And then we're going to take, well, I was going to use a spatula, but since I don't have one, I guess I'll use my knife. Now I'm going to, here, let's do this. There you go. And we're going to put that right on the top. And then the garlic that was in the, the sauce, came into little chips. We're going to break those up on the top. So you've got garlic chips, grilled eggplant parmesan, meat log sandwich. We did all this right on the grill in the big green egg. And I'll tell you what, if you, ever, if you want to learn how to cook on that thing, come out to Oasis Pools Plus. This Saturday, we'll be out there one to four for a free tasting. We're going to cook barbecue, biscuits. i probably do a cake right on the big green egg. So come and check it out. Yeah, Tara, I can cook yeah. a cake. On the, on the grill. I've cooked a grill, uh, upside down pineapple cake. On and, there and real quick, how long, did these, uh, how long do you keep these on the big, big egg? Um, probably six minutes. Just enough so to soften the cheese. You know, if you're using yummy, fresh yummy. mozzarella like this, it's not going to kind of go all over. It kind of stays a little tighter, but you just until it's golden and gooey, kind of like myself. Since there's four of these, we should have like an eating <laughs> contest go. and see how quickly we can well, eat Well, that's why I didn't put this one in. This one's actually mine. I'm going to okay. eat that one. <laughs> You guys can share the rest of it. I can't have it because by, of the by the way, anyway. Go. Uh, uh, advisor to our viewers, you will never hear the term meat log again on this program <laughs> after this Why day. Not? There you go, Terry. That, that is the least long. appetizing right. sounding. Oh, don't knock at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good don't one. Knock <laughs>